Hey guys, this is Joe, uh, Youngblood Family Farm, and I am actually on lunch right now. Um, thought it'd be fun to uh, bring you into uh, a little activity that sometimes I have to do. I uh, have some responsibilities repairing certain things, uh, woodworking machines, sharpening, um, and today is a switch. So, Let's get started. So this switch came off a Delta Rockwell style woodworking lathe. Uh, I was able to put a different switch on it. Sometimes I wonder what causes a switch to go bad. As you can see, it is a sealed switch. Um, a little heavier duty than maybe your standard light switch. And so, I noticed that there is a couple screws on it, which makes me think, well, maybe I could take it apart. Maybe I could clean up some of the contacts. Um, I like to find out why things break. So let's let's get into it. A little trick that I use, guys, is I use a continuity tester to kind of test continuity. You you know they you put the ends together, they squeal. And when you put the prongs on there and you get no squeal, you, you figure out that you got an issue with it. And so since, since I'm not getting continuity, um, like I said, sometimes the contacts get a little, uh, discolored whatnot what I noticed though is that before I take it apart I take take pictures of it um, here I'm taking a video so I can always go back on the video if I need to but I notice that I have a gold screw and then a silver screw and the gold screw actually goes in and it's connected to my ground lead and so I will just pull this apart Right off the bat, I see that I got, I can't actually see it, but I can see it through the screen. I see some sawdust on the table, which I, I always find sawdust. Um, so that is what's inside that switch. that so that rocks back and forth there's one screw that goes on that plate that's my toggle and I have this mess here so I'm sure that that is supposed to pivot. Here's my different contacts. Really, that's more of a disconnect than anything. Okay. So, what I need to do is I need to do a little bit of cleanup. That is actually a little spring. Let's see right off the bat that just even tapping that is cleaning up quite a bit. Now like so many of you guys, we always play the game of is it worth is it worth the time? Um, well, probably not. Probably not worth the time. You know, probably if my time's worth anything, the switch is pretty cheap just to replace and throw it away. However, I like to know how things work. And many of you guys do as well. You 
you see these contacts here reminds me of when I was a kid working on vehicles that had points. Some of you guys remember that. Remember we had a boat, we had to clean up the points all the time. So as I look at this, I want to make sure that that contact doesn't have any kind of... It wouldn't have soot. Soot's the wrong word. Any kind of burning. Anything that would uh, disconnect that power, or that, that electrical power, anything to disconnect that electrical power. Um, Something else I might do is I might kind of put a little bend on these so I know that it will, uh, will spring that shut. Um, you know what was happening, the student was telling me that this, this switch was, it worked. And then it would stop. It would work, and then it would stop. And so, like I said, I uh, have a switch in there. It's more of a light switch style. Uh, it seems to be working, but I can't imagine that that's going to last for a real long time. Um, where I don't want to keep fixing things. These switches, you know, they're not overly expensive, but they're not free either. Um, I used this uh, Canon Air when I'm working with electrical stuff, uh, cleaning up the, uh, you know, CNC machine or, you know, any kind of computer type stuff. Don't use the compressed air. Um, stuff's just dirty. You know, the air is never that clean. So, put this little spring in. Some kind of rubber stoppers down in here. They almost feel like erasers. And then I have the switch. Someone's gonna come on here and say, you talk too much. Yep, sure do. Thanks for watching. Like I said before, we have a silver screw. We have a copper looking screw that goes through and we'll go back into that ground plug here and somehow I've got to line this up for you guys some of you guys are wishing you could reach right through and Hold things. There we go. Right side screwdriver makes things a lot easier. back in my continuity tester here. And we've got nothing that should be off. Let's try the 
this again. So like gravity work for us here, huh? There we go. Let's make sure it turns off. Um, so that's it. Restoration, I think not, but uh, we might call it that. Uh, simple cleaning. Um, financially in my head, I, I don't know. You know, I, I, I've got to buy switches. I usually have a couple extra switches laying around. Um, this took about 15 minutes of, of my day. Um, yeah, I think I'm ahead. Uh, learned a little bit more. I have a big question about how so much sawdust gets inside of a fairly sealed switch. But there you go. Hope that was helpful. Uh, if not, sorry, you don't get your time back. Um, but I will put this on the shelf, and now I've got a usable switch to use again. And you. If I can do it, you can do it, right? So thanks for joining me. Have a good day. Bye.